we are gonna do the second Queenie Park hike. Um, it's not the main Queenie Park entrance. It's off, it's off the Mason Road, which when you're driving, it seems quite a bit distance um, from the original entrance, but it, it all works around. It, it all loops around. But you there. want to park at the dog park for this second trail. And yes, there is very expensive houses along this road. Man, man, look at some of those. This is the entrance you were looking for. This is different. All right, parking to the left. This is bigger than I remember. All right, we're looking for the trailhead. And, um, this might be the old, this is just weird. This might be the old punch. I'm gonna, you do it. I'm gonna punch this one, but I don't think this is the trailhead. But we're gonna go ahead and punch our thing right here. Yeah, I'm ready. Can All right, so here's number 15. And I still don't think this is the trailhead. Uh, but we're gonna start over. I think, I think it's over here. Yeah, I, think I think that was the old trailhead. But that's fine, we're still punching it. Yeah, I don't know what trailhead I mean. <laughs> I know it's it's very odd and so first thing I do every morning is I check the weather app to see if there's a chance of rain and this morning at 8 o'clock there was no chance of rain but now you look at that very spooky sky right there and there's a 95% chance of rain but you know what we already left the house so we're gonna deal with it um we're gonna deal with it probably get rained out no the path is this way but I'm looking, the trailhead was supposed to be right here. So I'm just gonna go up to this hill. Oh, it's kinda full too. To see if there's like a trailhead sign. I'm not gonna worry about it too hard because we did get our punch. That might be it. I just can't imagine they didn't take care of it by then. We didn't see one down there. Ooh, look, mulberry tree. Too high. I brought I brought a bucket in case. I really did. I brought a bucket in case we came across mulberry trees. Usually their limbs are a lot lower. <laughs> um, so, no, that's okay. They'll be other. They got one mulberry. <laughs> what? I said I could probably shake it. Look at the size. It's bigger than me. It is way bigger than you. So, yeah, I was hoping we would find some mulberry trees. But, I, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to do the trail. Yeah, I don't see the point. That might have been the trailhead, and just no one's been fixing it. But we need to get this hike done so we don't get rained out. Let's see if we can find a mulberry tree that's easier to access. In that song, here we go around the mulberry bush. I'm sure there's a nursery rhyme from our childhood. It's not a bush, it's a tree. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Arn, that's a little spooky. If you can hear that, that's not thunder. That's a fighter jet. Been hearing them all day. We have been hearing them all day. So I don't know what's going on. But those clouds right there. Looking. A little scary. A little oh, scary. Don't scare they don't scare you, honey? No, because they don't have that green look to them. The ones, the, the ones that scare me the most is when you see you've got kind of a nice sky and then you've got this huge greenish block of clouds coming in. That's the ones that scare me because that we do get tornadoes from those. I don't see a tornado dropping out of there. No, but definitely see rain. It's not really a wall cloud. We might, so all together, this is a 2.5 mile hike. Don't know that we're gonna make it the whole 2.5 miles. Very much cicada activity. No, I, there's, I've seen a couple cicadas. The most I've seen But I can't, house. here's some, there's some in this tree right here. Like our tree though. But not, not as loud as my house, my house. Crazy loud cicada swarm. So it's interesting. Here is the 30 for 30 sign. 
but there is no punch. It was on that other board that we saw. So keep that in mind. I don't see a punch on that one. Uh -uh. Huh. I think that was it. I think that was it. That was, because I, Oh, it was the old one. It was the old one. Because keep remember, they've been doing this for, don't quote me on the years, but I felt like we did it before we were married. And we've been yeah. married for what, 10 years? 11, 12, I don't know. It's been a while. And I thought it was, when we first did it, I thought it was a one time thing. But so you can drive that. Anyway, I thought it was like a one-year thing, but they just kept it up. These are barbecue pits, and they have numbered, so I'm assuming you can rent to them. That's that's cool. So yeah, you can drive to reach the other part of the park. It looks like it's a one-way loop, but we're doing the hiking part. I have not, we're not actually done. This loop. We've not done this loop. I don't remember. I mean, honestly, it looks like way too many picnic tables to me. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe they hold some event. Yeah, they, they do. Because because that's a lot of picnic tables and a lot of fire pits. Because that house isn't always open, but they. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this house. <laughs> what do you think that is? Like a two million dollar home? It's it's several million. Several million. <laughs> it is. It is. <coughs> Oh, there's like five of them. It's a nice one too. They got their own little entryway. Yeah. Oh. What are we looking at? You didn't hear that thunder? Yeah, I hear it, but I don't see anything. I don't think I can truck two miles <clears throat> quickly. We're giving up. That's lightning. <laughs> lightning and yeah, it's getting close. It was like a couple seconds. So we got the spot. Yeah. No, they're just started. They're not worried. So, probably only end up walking a mile and a half instead of the, so we're shorting it by a mile. Because, oh, see that? Because I don't mess around with lightning. <laughs> we don't mess around with lightning. <laughs> I like my body breathing. bring it. I should remember that. I got two. I just, it's kind of spur of the moment decision today. Look at that sky. Oh, see that lightning? My husband is losing patience with me. But I'm, here's a brave guy just starting the trail. The rain has started. I can feel the drops. Mm -hmm. I'll get at least close to that little mountain. We're almost at the park, the beginning of the park. We parked mm -hmm. at all the way to the other end. I know. Safety net. Safety net. Yep, I can feel the rain. My noise goes back to Kakiba Island. 
like a typhoon down there. I know, we did get stuck on Captiva oh, Island. Like two or three inches of rain. We got like... stuck in a torrential, torrential, is that the right word? Torrential? Torrential. Torrential downpour. It was terrible. We were nowhere near our hotel room. It's quite the nightmare. And the water has nowhere to go except the ocean. Yeah. So, it is a nice loop when there's not a threat of a severe thunderstorm. <laughs> and here's another mulberry tree. Don't got time to pick mulberries, sorry. All right, we're on. Okay, we're running the last bit. Oh my God, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Pretty big parking lot. I think you can see the rain. There, and there are some people who just started hiking. Look like some high school kids running. And I'm like, oh, hope you don't mind getting wet. Because the rain is here. And I don't mind getting wet. It's, it's the lightning. I don't mess with lightning. You hear that? The thunder. Alright, we made it to our car. <laughs> As you can see, it's raining. We only got slightly wet. Um, I do recommend that trail. I do recommend Queenie Park. Overall, it's very safe for St. Louis and plenty of parking. And if you do the full loop, it, it goes by like a fishing pond. And so that's pretty cool. Here's the expensive houses. Um, so yeah, I on my last Queenie Park video, I said I recommended it. I And this is the dog park portion. I highly recommend it one of my favorite parks in the area.